All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call Mulayim La, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And I shall I want to you, Akim out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Okay, so this lesson is going to be titled, Do Not Get Attached to This World. Okay, do not get attached to this world. You know, because ultimately, you know, according to the scriptures, you know, this world is vain. You know, it's temporal. You know, it doesn't, doesn't you know, have any, you know, um, prolonging left in it. You know, this place is on his way out, okay? Now, of course, you know, we have to do certain things to stay afloat while society is still running and while society is, you know, still functioning. You know, we get that. You know, we, we use the world, but we don't abuse it. You know, but we don't um, set up, you know, our treasures, you know, on this side. We, you know, we don't, you know, uh, have our mind, our heart, set on things on this side because everything is, is vain. You know, it's it's just uh it's it, it's not gonna last forever. Okay. But a lot of people, you know, that's that's in the world, you know, they're you know their you know their heart is set in this world, you know. So without further ado, we get a couple of precepts and Lawrence Will this lesson will be edifying to the sheep. Okay, now, since I mentioned it, you know, I uh, kind of, you know, quoted it when I was saying it, well, reading it, but this is Matthew 6, and um, Matthew 6 and verse <coughs> 19, excuse me, and it says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Okay, now, now, mind you, these are the words of our our beloved brother, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay, our King, man, Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says where moth and rust do do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Meaning what? Because if you are focused on you know building on this side and focus on you know, establishing things on this side, well, well, guess what? You know, all those things that you accumulated and, you know, have worked for can easily be, you know, stolen, corrupted, you know, can easily be, you know, uh, um, replaced, you know, uh, uh, done away with, you know. So if you have your mind, you know, your goals set on things in this world, then, you know, uh, that's all you know, you're about, it's things of this world, you know, but that's why you don't want to be attached to this place, because you being a, being attached to this place, you know, that can uh, take your mind, take your eye off the prize, man, you know, because we got to, you know, we had to have to have that, that tunnel vision towards the kingdom, you know, because people out here, you know, they have, you know, their mind set on other things, you know, they have their mind set on staying here forever, you know, but since we know that this place is not going to last forever, we have our minds set up, you know, towards the kingdom of heaven. Okay, which it says right here, Matthew 6 and verse 20. And it says, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Okay, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. OK, and that's what we're and that's exactly what we're doing, you know, and how are we doing that? You know, we are pre presenting our bodies to live in sacrifice, you know, doing the will of you. How about Shemal Shai, you know, being charitable towards brothers. OK, being brotherly, you know. All those things, man, matter because we are doing it. We are doing doing, you know, those things for a greater purpose. OK, because because we know. That the works that we put in now, you know, is going to benefit us in the, in the long run. 
okay? Because we are doing these, you know, doing these works to, uh, spiritually, you see? You know, we are, you know, building up that spiritual bank account towards the kingdom of heaven, okay? Us doing the work of Yahweh Shemal Shai is definitely going to benefit us in the long run, okay? Because the scriptures say, you know, we during to the end, you know, we're going to be, uh, the Lord's going to get, actually, I'll get it real quick. I'll get it real quick. Revelation 2. And uh, 26, and it says, after our 25, Revelation 2 and 25, but that which ye have already hold, excuse me, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. Right, man, this truth. You know, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Okay, we have to keep this near and dear unto us. You know, constantly praying to, Keep the Holy Spirit upon us at all times and, you know, just, you know, uh, remaining righteous, you know, constantly being circumspect, constantly watching out, you know, constantly just staying our, you know, our, you know, on the up and up, you know. Verse 26, and it says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations and he shall rule them with the rod of iron at the vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father, Yahweh, you see, and that's in red letter, meaning what? Yeah, those are, that's Yahweh Shai speaking right there, you know, so we keep doing the work of Yahweh Shmuel Shai, you know, keep doing to the end, you know, you know, with all faith and sincerity, and then the Lord is going to, you know, give us what we worked for, you know, and that's us, you know, um, uh, building up that uh, spiritual bank account, you know, by our works. You know, the scriptures say, the scriptures say, show that uh, faith by that works. And we're doing that, you see. So, you know, we don't uh, uh, have our heart set upon things within this place because, you know, this place is just, you know, it's not going to last, man. All right. Now, of course, like I said earlier, you know, brothers may have things, may get certain things and do certain things. But we're not in the mindset to keep those things or to uh, uh, have the mindset of I'm going to keep this forever because we know. That Babylon isn't the last stop, okay? The next stop, you know, of civilization is going to be the kingdom of, of, of Israel, which which will be here on earth, all right? The kingdom of heaven, which will be ruled starting off, you know, by Yahweh Shai, okay? So let's head to um, Romans 12 and verse 1, and it, says, and it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Okay, so we are uh, a living sacrifice unto the Lord. Okay, you know, and, and, and being a sacrifice, meaning that we have to, you know, uh, deny ourselves, you know, put the Most High first. You know, we got to put ourselves in the back burner, put this world in the back burner. And put the Lord first, you see, you know, and, and just you know, do the best that we can, okay? Because you know, while being in Babylon, man, this place can, you know, get in the way of us serving how about small shot at times, you know. That's why we gotta be delivered. That's why you know, back in uh, ancient uh, Egypt, you know, Moses went to Pharaoh and he said, "Let, let my people go," you know, so that way we can serve you how about small shot. Because how can we serve the Most High? If we're in captivity, you know, and that's just like today. We're in captivity, you know, Egypt all over again, you know. So us being a living sacrifice, we have to do the best we can through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, you know, and serve him constantly, you know, whether whether it may be, you know, doing lessons, of course, you know, praying to him, doing, you know, uh, studying, you know, uh, 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 being charitable, you know, Rehearsing the righteous acts, hey man, we you know we that's the things that we do, you know, and it's beautiful because, you know, we are, you know, showing our works by showing our faith by our works, you see, you know, by being a living sacrifice, okay, so, yeah man, that that's, that's it man, we just gotta keep 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 pushing, you know, and it says um. That ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, right? Put yourself, you know, deny yourself, you know, put this this world in the back burner, you know, putting putting certain pleasures, 
you know, second, you know, put that in the back burner, you know, because there's a lot of things in the world that, that can distract you from Yahweh Shemal Shai, or should I say that can distract you, you know, from, um, from, uh, 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 this truth. I'll put it like that, you know, not that this place distracts us, but there's, you know, certain things that, that can distract you. You see, that's why, you know, here in Babylon, everything is all of the flesh, you know, eating constantly, people having sex and things like that. And just, you know, uh, people uh, uh, consuming all day, you know, Babylon is, is all about pleasure, you see, but us being a living sacrifice, we put, you know, how about Shema Shai first and you put the flesh last, you see. And it says, holy, acceptable unto the most high which is your reasonable service, right, man? This is our reasonable service. This is our works, okay? And, and this is the most size, you know, uh, business. You know, didn't how I say, I got to do my father's business, okay? We're doing the, we're doing the uh, service of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, okay? Excuse me, we're doing the will, the work of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, all right? Verse two, and it says, and be not conformed, to this world, right, man? Don't be conformed to this world, man. Just don't get attached to this place, man. All right? Don't allow, don't allow Satan to, you know, think that you're missing out because you're not. You see? Because the, 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 because first off, the mirth of the land is gone completely. Babylon is through. Okay? People are through. The women are through. You see? Everything here is 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 depleted, is diminishing. So there's nothing re here to, there's nothing here for you to, Say that you're missing because you're not, you know, that's Satan ultimately, you know, because Satan wants you to go back in the world. Satan wants to sift you, you know, Satan wants you to say I quit and, you know, give up and turn and turn your back, you know, and take and take your hand off the plow. That's what Satan wants you to do. OK, but you got to rebuke that, you know, you know, send a prayer to you about small shy and keep going, man, you know. And it says, be not conformed to this world, right, man? Don't, don't, don't be conformed to this world, man. You know, we got to, you know, we got to remain holy because people out here, man, they're in gross darkness. You know, they're, they're in the flesh, you know, they're wicked. You know, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's their lot to be wicked. Our lot is to be holy. You know, our lot is to be, you know, righteous servants of Yahweh Bashmah Shai. Okay. Let them keep this shit, man. Let them, let them be attached to this place. Because we know that we got something better coming for us, okay? And it says, But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Okay? Right, man? The transforming of your mind, your spirit. You know, being, being you know, born again, you know, being a new creature in Yahweh Shai. Okay? And I'll end it off from here. This is Colossians 3 in verse... Um, one to verse two, and it says, "If ye then be risen with the Yahushai, seek things that are that are above, right? Because didn't Yahushai say to the, those uh, wicked as Pharisees, those wicked as Jakes, he said that you are beneath, I'm from uh, above. Okay, we gotta, you know, we gotta, you know, think above this place because Babylon is not the last stop. Babylon is not gonna last forever. Okay, and it says, seek those things which are above, and what's those things? The kingdom." You know, you know, uh, eternal life, you know, immortality, okay, Eter uh, uh, eternal righteousness, you know, eternal glory, all that, man, you know, and it says, uh, seek those things which are above where the most, where Yahweh Bashmah uh, Shai, excuse me, where uh, Yahweh Shai Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of the most high Yahweh. Verse two, and it says, set your things on, th on things above, excuse me. It says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. And that's plain. Okay. Just like we read in Matthew 6 and uh, verse uh, 20. You know, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, our heart is towards the kingdom of heaven. Our heart isn't towards, you know, things on earth. Okay. Our heart is towards, you know, our mind is towards Yahweh Bashmah Shai and, you know, getting delivered. You know, uh, uh, being, you know, a... Uh, uh, being um righteous forever you know and just really just 
just living in a in, in a living in, in in our kingdom, man. You know, getting our kingdom. You know, having that that power, man, and just all the things that the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shai said He would give to us. Those are things that we're focused on. You know, as well as focus on prophecy, things of that nature. You know, so we're completely looking, you know, past Babylon and looking towards the kingdom of heaven. You see, that's why the scriptures say that the things that we can see are temporal, but the things we don't see are eternal. You see, and hey, man, you know, we just got to keep pushing, keep believing with all faith and sincerity. You know, anyhow, Bashmal Shai, staying prayed up, you know, and just keep our mind, you know, keep our, uh, our heart, our mind. Focus towards deliverance, towards salvation, you know, towards enduring to the end, you know, and just and towards Yahweh Bashmal Shai, man. You know, keep our minds always in the scriptures, you know, our prophecy. Okay. These are the things that we, you know, set our, our set our affection on. Okay. And I read it one more time. Colossians 3 and verse 2, it says, Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. OK, because this earth right now that you see is going to be is going to be done away with. So why set your affection on things on the earth, knowing that the things that's on this earth, on this side right now, in Esau's kingdom is going to be done away with. So it's pointless for you to, you know, set your affection on things on the earth, knowing that, you know, this present world is going to be. Um, is going to come to a complete stop. OK. So rather set your things on, you know, things above, you know, set your affection on things above. OK, so with that being said, I just want to say, call on La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Once again, I want to say double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And I shall I want to you, Anki Mount there that's pushing his truth through his spirit, through the power and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. By Shimon Kakwadash and Lawrence Bow, you were edified through the spirit. Shalom.